Welcome back to what we call Pastor Talks here at the Christian Church of Loudoun County. I take time every week and I dive into the Word because I believe that the Word is meant to be an encouragement for us in our walk with God. And then in that encouragement, be encouraged to share that with others. This morning, I want to talk about um, the tools that we're given in Scripture to respond in regards to difficulty in life. Now, we've been walking through a series together in the book of Acts on Sunday morning, and we've seen people face unimaginable difficulty. And we've seen them face um, insurmountable odds. And so what what does Scripture tell us about our reaction when it comes to the realities of life? Today we're going to be in the book of Psalms, Psalm 40 this morning. So if you've got your Bibles, you can read along with me. Psalm 40, starting in verse 1, reads this. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud, those who have gone astray and chase after a lie. You have multiplied, O Lord my God. You are wondrous in your deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare to you. I will proclaim and tell of them. They are more than can be told. I think the reality of A difficult season or a difficult situation is much like what the psalmist writes here is like being in a miry bog. It's like being in a pit that is destructive, Uh, a, a pit that you are in and around you feels like everything is hitting you or destroying you. And you feel like you're in a bog, like you're in a, uh, a torn up earth that you're stuck in and you can't seem to get out. And when we put our trust in, when we lean into our relationship with God, these things happen to us. Listen, listen again. He set my feet. Remember, we're in a bog, we're in a pit upon the rock, making my steps secure. So when we go to move, when we go to step, we feel Solid. We feel there, there's something underneath us. It doesn't feel like we're more stuck than we were before. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. So the, the, what comes out of us is not negative. What comes out of us is not fear. What comes out of us is not, it's praise. It's recognition of the reality of God in our midst in the midst of the situation that we're in. And then he goes on to talk about all of the ways that the Lord has made himself apparent. And so when we find ourselves in these difficult, exhausting, emotionally draining situations, what we do is we place our trust and we turn into our relationship with God. And so what does that mean? What does it mean to put your trust in the Lord? Well, what it means is, Letting the peace that a relationship with God gives to us be our primary focus. Now, what is the peace that a relationship with God gives us? That as much as our physical life can feel overwhelming, as much as our physical life can feel like the primary thing that we should be looking at, there is something more, something more secure, something more life-giving that is always and ever present. And we can choose to see that or we can choose to not see that. The reality of our difficulty or our anxiety or our fear is that we're letting 
other things be the focus instead of God being our primary focus. And so what this psalmist is urging is blessed is the man who puts his trust in the Lord, whose the Lord is his trust. And so I don't put my trust in whether or not this thing works out or doesn't work out. I don't put my trust in people who say that they can help me get out of a situation. I put my trust in something that is eternally secure. Life has a way of distracting us from that. And the best way that we can fill ourselves with the peace that comes from a relationship with God is to intentionally separate ourselves from all of those other things and literally focus solely on him. And we know that that's difficult, which is why every year we put together a retreat that we call the 24-hour Sabbath, which is 24 hours where we are intentionally only focusing on him and his ability to give us peace so that we can be reminded that we can trust him, so that we can be filled with new songs and feel like we have solid ground underneath our feet. If that's something that you need, if you feel like you need spiritual nourishment or rest or reminders of the trust that we can put in God, there's an opportunity through our church's website to let us know that you would like to come and if you go to our church and you know how to get a hold of me, then just let me know. I would love for you to be there. It's $15 a person, covers all of your meals and all of your lodging. And we hope that at the end of that 24 hours, you, like the psalmist here, get to the point where you say, none can compare to you. I will proclaim and tell of all of your wondrous deeds, yet there are more than can be told. I'm going to pray that over you, that you find that peace in that life today and throughout the rest of this week. Our retreat is not this weekend, but next weekend. And if you'd like to be a part of that, I hope that you will. So I'm going to pray for you in the rest of your day. And I hope that the rest of your day is blessed. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the ways that you remind us of the places within our relationship with you that we can put our trust and our hope and to let those things fill us with life and reminders of who you are, even in the midst of great difficulty. And so, Father, as we look at great difficulty ahead of us, as we look at situations that we don't know how to navigate, Father, remind us that you have the ability to pick us up out of the bog that we might find ourselves in and make us feel like we're standing on solid ground that you have the ability to take the fear or the anxiety or the negativity that consumes us and give us a new song, a song of praise and thanksgiving towards you and our relationship with you. Father, help us to do that. Help us to be filled with songs of praise, standing on secure ground. It's only because of you. And so it's in your name that we pray. Amen.